What's up everybody, Beav here again, and as you can see, I've got a pile of parts here on the rear bumper of the truck, because it is yet again another fix the lawnmower, tis the season for lawnmower repair, I suppose. Anyway, I had a had the blade mandrel assembly go bad on, on the mower, it just bearings were bad in it, and uh, it has a star shaped you can see the star shaped thing that the blade actually keeps the, I guess the blade from just free spinning on it and as you can see this one is pretty well ground up and not looking in the best of shape so I pulled that one out it's a fairly simple procedure here's the small mower deck over here um, you take this large nut, beta sits on top of it in the deck. Take the large nut off, pull the pulley off, and then this piece just drops right out of the bottom of the deck, so you have to remove it. And so, installation is the opposite. Uh, on a side note, there was some sort of little, you can see a little bit over here, used to be some sort of shield maybe around the bolts and it is long since rusted away so I got some I got some washers the thickness of it I can put in there and kind of make up that distance so hopefully it keeps all the blade stuff belts and all in, in proper alignment so they don't wear out prematurely so I'm gonna slip this back in and pick this back up here in a second and here we have it it's sitting in the hole spun around here nine dozen times uh, mounting it back up like I said goes in from the bottom bolts in from the top and like I said I've got uh, can't really see it too well but I have washers I'm using as shims to make up that guard distance it's a little bit tricky to get in one handed I might add all right, since I got all my bolts started, I'm gonna go ahead and snug these up gently so I don't wring them off. The ones I took out rung off. They were quite rusted up and been in there for a long time. So I'd kind of expected that. And apparently Sears expected it too because they sent new bolts for putting this in. putting the blades on I came across the new problem this assembly on this side is in pretty bad shape I don't know if y'all can see that wiggle back and forth but the bearing on that is gone bad so I'm gonna have to replace that one also they had another one over at Sears so I'm gonna just run back over to Sears and pick that one up just go on and replace that whole assembly there's an alternative to that the assembly actually does come apart this is the old one um, this is the part that's mounted to the deck uh, it's got a bearing in the top goes in there taps in and this is the piece that the blade mounts to. Shaft, it's got a bearing already, the bottom bearing already pressed onto it. And you can buy that online and you can buy the bearing online. Uh, they didn't have that at Sears when I went in there. They just had the whole assembly. Um, it's not a hard thing to change. Um, once, once you've got the nut off that holds the pulley on just 
take it up by the top of this, take a hammer and knock this down out of the assembly. And then you can flip it over and tap this bearing out of the top if that bearing's bad, but chances are it's on its way there, so probably go ahead and replace it. Um, then you would tap the new bearing into the assembly, into the housing, tap that in. This piece will go in through the bottom, and once it's in there and your, your bearing is in the top, then you could simply just put that large nut on that holds the pulley on and start slowly tightening that down and pull that piece that's down there on the ground now up into the housing. Oop, almost lost my spacer. Pull it back on. Her down. Make sure that you get, see that, that's actually, that pulley is still pretty loose. Like I said, that's a... Low on air pressure. Uh, and like I said before, this, this pulley, you know, you'll have to make sure that it gets good and tight. Like I said, it's a... Like I said, it's a locking nut. It's going to feel like it's tight, but you'll be able to actually grab hold of that pulley and move it possibly. And if you can, you'll, you can feel it shake. This one is tight now. Make sure that's good and tight because if that pulley starts flopping around, it's going to free spin and it's going to tear things up. And once you get there, just flip the thing back over. your blades it sent a new bolt for this but the this has a real thick washer on it the new bolt didn't have so I'm gonna reuse that bolt and I'm gonna tighten that down and remount this and that's gonna be it for this re repair job uh, there so that wraps it up two new mandrels new blades uh this big beef loser in the camera make sure you like and subscribe uh if you have any questions or comments be sure to get them in there too we'll see you next time late <laughs>